Fala rapaziada, começando mais um vídeo aqui no canal Na Ponta Língua e sejam bem-vindos para mais um vídeo. No vídeo de hoje eu estou compartilhando com vocês o que? Mais uma aula que eu tive lá no Cambly. Essa aula de hoje foi uma aula que assim, cara, eu considero muito de coração, tá ligado? Eu gostei muito dessa aula. Eu gostei dela porque eu bati um papo super cabeça com o professor, tá ligado? Um papo super interessante. O cara, ele é muito inteligente. Esse foi um dos motivos pelo qual eu chamei ele também. Bom, então sem mais enrolações para não ficar chato aqui, vamos pro vídeo principal. Peço que vocês fiquem até o final, afinal sempre volta ao mais coisa aqui com vocês. Então é isso, acompanha aí, espero que vocês gostem. Hello there. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, uh, thanks for asking. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. So, your name is uh, Mateus. Yes, good pronunciation. What's your name? My name is Cole, and I'm from, I'm from Canada. Oh, I see, I see the flag. Oh, <laughs> right. Yes, yes, the Canadian flag behind me, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, have you been to Canada before? No, no. I have a YouTube channel, and that's for my scenario, oh, you know? Oh. oh, cool, cool, cool. So do you talk about a lot of, um, uh, like, topics comparing Brazil and Canada, maybe? No, no, no. Uh, basically, I share all my experience about... I uh, have been learning English by myself. I have been learning English by myself for two years. And there I share all my experiences, you know? So, you know, things that worked or didn't work for me, you know. Oh, cool. I was taking a look here and you speak a lot of different languages. Is that correct? Yes, that's true. Languages are my hobby. Oh, do you speak Portuguese? Oh, uh, yes, I do, actually. Yeah. Can you say something in Portuguese? Um, so, let me think of something to say. Um, então, uh, eu sou canadense, mas eu aprendi português faz... Uh, faz seis anos, porque em Toronto tem muitos brasileiros. E aí eu pratiquei como eles. E assim, eu aprendi assim. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. You speak oh. very well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Once I get warmed up, then I feel more comfortable. But uh, I I haven't spoken Portuguese in a while because of the lockdown. So uh -huh. I'm starting to get a little bit rusty. So do you speak French and German? Uh, yeah, French and German are actually my, my best languages after, um, after English. Uh, I, I'd like to know those languages. Uh, basically, I know, I know how to say hello, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, in French, ça va bien, je uh, m'appelle mm Mateus. -hmm. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. And, oh, and you're from Rio, by the way, I'm assuming. Yes, how do you know that? Because uh, I, when you said your name, I could hear the... I noticed that uh, cariocas normally pronounce the S like sh, and you said Mateus. Uh -huh. so, exactly, Mat Mateus, escola, yeah. Uh, isqueiro. <laughs> yeah, cool. So um, some accents in Brazil throw me off, but um, carioca, people from Sao Paulo, Minas Gerais, uh, Rio, and... Uh, I notice I can't really I can tell when someone is from the northeast but I can't mm -hmm. tell where they're from I can just tell that they're from the northeast uh yeah and, that, and then people from the south I notice they also have a specific way of talking um but Rio, Sao Paulo and Minas Gerais seem to be pretty easy Why do you learn a lot of different languages um, I just do it, um, uh, I just find languages really interesting, and then, um, I just learn them because of that. Uh, I just have a lot of fun doing it, um, and, uh, I like to travel too. It really helps with traveling, um, because I find, so, right now, I left Canada three months ago, and mm -hmm. I'm living in Belarus right now, and they all speak Russian, and I've been studying Russian for a little bit, so I can survive here. But I had some complications before, and I had to spend two days in Poland. And I don't speak Polish, and some people spoke English, not very many people. And I learned it's so hard to experience a country when you don't speak the language, because you can't talk to anyone. So it motivated me even more to keep learning uh, more languages. And uh, how do you like to learn those languages? So um, I try to learn um, kind of like how a baby learns its first language. Um, I, I normally will find a course and then um, like a course, for example, with Portuguese, the book, there was a CD 
that had the, so I could read the dialogue and hear it at the same time. And then so there was Portuguese and French on the other side, just because the book doesn't exist in English. So it had to be French. So it was hard because my French is not perfect. So I would just learn words and phrases in context. So I would never learn lists, only the words in sentences. And then I would just go and find Brazilians and then just talk to them. And the first couple conversations were, eu canadese, sim, sim, um, muito bom. Eu, eu falo, sim, 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 muito bom. Those were my first conversations. <laughs> and then you just keep repeating the process. And um, every day I would listen to the news in Portuguese. I would read in Portuguese. I would um, watch YouTube videos in Portuguese. I created my own immersion in um, at home, my own small mm -hmm. Brazil. So my whole life, aside from my family and friends, everything inside my inside my little bubble was Portuguese. And then um, it allowed me to eventually get get better. And then once I hit an intermediate level, I started studying grammar. I never studied grammar at the beginning. That's one of the things that I do differently from other people. But uh, but yeah. That's brilliant, really. So I also I also <clears> like <throat> I also love language. I like to learn German and French in future. I like to watch uh YouTube videos mm -hmm. and uh you know uh tips on YouTube and uh and to practice my listening skills, you know. And then I go, you know, to Omigo, you know, Omigo, oh, Cambly, yeah. Cambly as well. Mm -hmm. And I try to practice my conversation. So I learn English, you know, like, like that. Okay. Because like I was going to say, it does seem like you've been learning on your own because I find that, for example, in Canada, French in school is not good. So we can hardly mm -hmm. speak. And I find that people that, that I meet on Cambly, That learn that learned on their own before they came to Cambly normally speak very well, and you speak very very comfortably and and clearly and well. So yeah, good job. Thanks so much. So I know I have a lot of things to improve in my English. For example, my pronunciation. I like my pronunciation a lot. But yes, uh, I'm I'm working on my English. As I said for you, I have a YouTube channel where I share all my experience. And if you don't mind, can I post our conversation there? Um. Yeah. Sure. Okay, thanks so much. Uh, would you like to know my YouTube channel? Uh, actually, yeah, sure. That, uh, that'd be cool. Okay. Na ponta da língua. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. I'll save that. So don't you think about create a YouTube channel? Because you are a smart guy, you know. Mm. Uh, it, would, it would be, like, awesome. You know, for example, I'm learning language. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now, only English. But mm -hmm. in future, I'd like to, you know, watch your in your tips, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't you think about that? Well, um, in the future, I would like to... So, I actually do have an idea. And I would like to eventually um, put it into practice. Um, because, uh, I don't know. When I turn on the camera, my energy... So... When I'm talking to someone, I normally, you know, I have energy. But when I turn on the camera to, you know, talk for a video, I, I only know how to be serious. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So <laughs> I need to learn how to put my energy into videos. And then I would like to start, um, like, some kind of, like, new channel and, uh, you know, talk about more tips and all that stuff. That would be my plan. So it was a pleasure to talk to you today. Our time is finishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a pleasure talking to you, too. So I hope to see you again, right? I'm going to call you back for sure. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I look forward to it. Have a nice day. Bye. You, too. See you next time. É isso aí, rapaziada. Esse foi o vídeo. Se você gostou, deixa o seu like aqui embaixo. Compartilhe com algum amigo seu, vai estar me ajudando muito. Se você quiser estar ganhando 15 minutos grátis, fazer uma aula grátis, assim como essa de hoje, todas as que eu faço aqui no canal, eu vou estar deixando aqui na descrição, aqui na tela, e apareceu durante o vídeo o meu código, é o código GOMES. É só você entrar lá na plataforma em códigos de indicação, minutos grátis, alguma coisa desse tipo, e inserir o código. E pronto, você vai ganhar 15 minutos grátis. Mas caso você não consiga ter algum problema, algumas pessoas têm dificuldade, você pode me chamar lá no Instagram que eu tô deixando também aqui na descrição eu vou tentar te ajudar por lá. Então é isso, galera. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Vejo vocês no próximo vídeo. Tamo junto e valeu!